Hi there, this is Tilly from Otilly Style Stock Photography and I just wanted to share with you a brief tutorial in Photoshop of how you can add your own text or product to a mock-up layer in one of the Otilly Photoshop files. If you're a member of the Otilly Style Stock Photography catalogue, you'll be able to access the Photoshop files in the Dropbox folders only. We don't have them on the website as you can't download a Photoshop file from the website. Um, if you have an image that has a mock-up on it and you can't find the Photoshop document, just send me an email at hello at otilly.net and I'd be happy to send it through to you. Um, now, if you're a Photoshop user, this tutorial will be great for you. If you're not a Photoshop user, you'll want to send this through to your graphic designer if you need something added to, a, to a, an iPad screen or um, a phone screen on my, um, on my images. So when you open the file in Photoshop, you'll have um, on down on the bottom right hand side where your layers are, you'll have three layers in this file in particular. Some only have two. This one has three because the top layer is actually the reflection on top of the iPad screen. So without that, it would look very fake. So there is a third, a third um, layer up there that puts a reflection onto, on top of what you put on the iPad screen. So the middle layer here, which says double click to add your own screen, um, you just do exactly that. So you double click on that layer and it will open up a new Photoshop document which will become your iPad screen. So whatever you add to this will be applied back to the original document in the correct perspective of this Photoshop, uh, this iPad screen. So the, the dimensions here are exactly the same dimensions as a, an iPad screen. So once you open this up, you can change the color of the background, you can add text, you can super so you can bring in another layer of your website or, uh, design if you're a website designer or a logo that you might have designed for a client or your Instagram feed or your Facebook feed. The sky is the limit, you can pop in whatever you want. I'm just going to do a simple text font to show you how this works um, and I'll just get going with that. If you can hear my kids in the background, it's because they're playing outside my office window. It's their favourite spot. Okay, so that I'm just gonna. Sorry, I talk to myself all the time. So now that fits nicely in that screen. Now, once I save this document, it will apply itself to this. So all I have to do is hit the keyboard shortcut, which is Control plus S, or I can go to File and Save, um, and that would apply it to the other document. So here we go, let's see what happens. So we're done. You go back to the original, and there it is applied to the screen. It looks like it was meant to be there. It looks like it was there when the photo was taken. So you can apply anything to this and it will look, look like it's meant to actually be in the photo. So it doesn't look fake like some of the other mock-ups you see. Now, obviously without the screen reflection, it does look pretty fake, but there you go. You can also change the opacity of the screen reflection if you feel it affects your document too much. So see how that changing the opacity makes the screen look more or less bright. Sorry, I'm laughing at my kids playing outside. So I think it looks really good around about there. That looks quite real. Now, once you're happy with that, you save this document. You can add, add more text up in here, or you can, you can change, you can add a filter to it if you want to, or crop it square for Instagram, for example. So if I wanted to pop it on Instagram, you could crop it just like this. And then you save this document and you're ready to post. Okay, if anyone has any questions, you can get a hold of me at hello at otilly.net. Have a lovely day. Bye.